वेलकम टुडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू ट्रेन येलो वी टेन ऑन ए कस्टम डेटा सेट येलो वी टेन इज द लेटेस्ट मॉडल इन येलो सीरीज एंड इट इज रिलीज रिसेंटली इफ यू चेक दिस ग्राफ यू कैन सी येलो वी टेन हैज लोअर लेटेंसी एज कम्पेयर टू अदर डिटेक्शन मॉडल्स एंड कैन सी इट हैज द ग्रेटर एक्यूरेसी एज कम्पेयर टू अदर्स इफ यू चेक दिस ग्राफ यू कैन सी द नंबर ऑफ पारमीटर्स for your lobby 10 as a smaller as compared to other models that means for training uh, it will take less amount of time it will take less resources such as rams and gpus now if you want to check github repo you can go to this link and this is the official github repo of your lobby 10 uh, you can see they have built your lobby 10 on ultra analytics framework so you can use alternative commands just like we have seen in case of you know v8 to do training to do validation to do testing and if you want to check the research paper this is the link to research paper you can download the research paper from here and you can go to the research paper if you want now for our project we'll be using this data set i have given the link here also i'll give the link in description of this video so this data set contains a uh, aerial image of a round about you can see and here we have five number of classes we have car cycle bus truck and van so download the data set from here then upload everything to your google drive so i would suggest please maintain this folder structure so it will be easier to follow this code so here i have uploaded everything to this folder you can see we have both images and their respective annotation files then in this folder uh, we will be having output from our inferencing on both images and videos and then this test folder here we have a bunch of images on which we will be doing our testing after training the model now uh, after that we have training backup this folder will be created during training and uh, you, you will have all these things after the training is completed then in this folder we have videos on which we will be doing our inferencing after we have the model from training so here i am importing everything uh, all the required libraries that we want for this uh, for this training process then here uh, here we have tesla t4 then here uh, you can do pip install ultra analytics it will take some time to do uh, to install ultra analytics and all the requirements uh, that are needed for this process then here if you do run this you will get this message that means installation of ultra analytics is successful then here after that so guys i'm not running all these commands because it will take some time to do all these installations and i have already done this so we'll move uh, further just like this you can follow the process you will get similar kind of result and it will be easier for you to to run this notebook to uh, in order to train your own v10 model now here we are connecting to our google drive to uh, get the data that we want for training here you can do this then this continue and then okay now uh it's trying to connect with the google drive you can see here okay so our google drive is mounted here and if you click here you can see we have drive here then here we are just uh giving the path where we will be uh, we will be storing our training images our validation images and testing images now if you uh, run these two functions uh they will try to read the data from this folder and then they will create the train and uh, val folder and also they will create the data set or ml file you can see here the process has started
so you can see uh, after this process we have a total number of uh, 976 images out of which uh, we have 781 images in training folder and 195 images in validation folder so if you go to this folder you can see we have training and validation folder then we have this data set on yaml so here you can see we have directory to our training folder uh, and then directory to our validation folder then we have class information that we have in our data set after that you can run this command to install all requirements that are needed for yellow v10 then you can download the words from here so if you go to the github uh, github link you can see uh, we have all these words that are written on coco data set and we can use any weight out of all this all this way to fine tune this yellow v10 model so if you want to download these words you can use you know uh, these commands so these are basically this is yellow v10 small this is medium and large now after that here we are doing the training and you can see here we have task is called detection because this is a detection model that we are uh, we want to train now here the mode is trained and then model we are giving the path to our yellow v10 last model that we have inside this folder and then here we have data here we are giving the path to our data set or yaml file that we have created earlier you can see then here we are training the model for 15 number of epochs image size is 640 batch size is 8 then project here we are giving the directory where the model will store all the necessary file and that will be generated during training and here the name is traffic2 that means within this folder it will create another folder traffic2 and within that it will store all necessary files so if you go to our google drive you can see this is the folder this training backup and then within that we have traffic2 you can see and then within traffic2 all the necessary files that will be generated during training will be stored and here within this folder we have something called words and within words everything will be stored so guys i have deleted the word files that were generated during training i just kept last word and best word here and then here we have optimizers that is adam and when you run this command you will get uh, you will get information like this from your terminal that means the training has started and you can see I have trained the model for 15 number of epochs and after that it will do the validation and it will show all these metrics uh, after the training is completed. Let's understand how to do inferencing using this trained model on both images and videos. Remember we have images within this folder, you can see within this folder. So I have given that, uh, that folder directory to to this source parameter and then here we are using the best weight that was generated during training and then we are using a confidence threshold that is 0.55 and we are inferencing on these images when you run this command you will get messages like this after this we are using this command to copy all these results from this run uh, runs detect predict directory to our google drive so if you run this command you will get all the images within uh, within this folder and if you open this image you can see this is the detection that we have from our model from our yellow v10 last model after training it for 50 number of epochs you can see uh, detection are pretty good uh, so we have a bunch of bunch of objects here and still we are getting detections like you can see the threshold is greater than 80 so this is nice and here we have some missing detection you can see this is the truck but our model is uh, unable to catch this so guys we train the model only for 50 number of epochs and if you want to get a better model you need to train uh, train the model for more number of epochs and you need to uh, play with the hyperparameters that that uh, that can control the behavior of the model 
now if you want to run inferencing on videos same thing you can uh, give the path to the videos uh, on which we want to do inferencing and if you run this command you will get messages like this that means inferencing has started on the video and then if you run this command similarly you will copy the output results the output video from from this inferencing process to a google drive and if you do that you will have output like this let's play this one so you can see uh, the model is getting a little bit confused around here and there are some there are some there are some detections which are missing uh, it's fine fine uh, because this is the behavior that uh, we can get from the model after training it for 15 number of epochs only let's play this one okay so this is a little bit stable as compared to the previous one so guys we have completed the tutorial on how to train yellow v10 on a custom data set i hope you understood the process and i'm sure you'll be using this yellow v10 in your project uh for now please like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next video till then take care